Hello and welcome to a little tutorial on how to adjust your lens when you're using one of my lens controllers, CCU controller uh, and an ATEM CCU controller. Here I've currently got this lens just sitting on um, camera 4 position here which I'm going to be controlling from here. Now what I need, just need to cover quickly is there is an adjustment on all lenses called iris sensitivity. Now, um, this is a variable and um, it can be a little bit over sensitive or not sensitive enough. And the result is that you're going to get what I call residual movement in the iris. And I'll give you an example. I'm going to turn the iris knob here on the CCU controller. And as I turn it, I'll just start so you can see the see the um, the control working here um, uh, I must be all the way up here we go so as I um, as I turn the knob, I'm just going to give it a little turn and um, and as I'm turning uh, you can see the iris moving but I take I stop turning but it, the, the iris ring keeps on moving I'm just going to do it in course again so I'm turning and I've stopped turning and you see it's still moving now um, that, that can cause problems so I'm, I'm just going to do it on the iris controller here for instance if I just switch this over to control here um, I'm just going to move the slider down and you see it's still moving um, I'm going to move it up and I've stopped moving and you see it's still moving that's because the sensitivity is uh, wound back too far now, uh, the sensitivity adjustment is just a little hole in here. I'm going to try and do this just using a screwdriver. I'm going to wind it. Whoa! I'm going to wind it to um, uh, least sensitive, which is fully clockwise. So I'm trying to do this one-handed, and then I'm just going to back it off a bit, and you'll see the dramatic change in um, the control. Hang on, I'm just going to use a better screwdriver. Bear with me for a moment. Um, so I've wound it to the least sensitive and I'm going to back it off about 20%. Uh, so now um, I'm still using the control here. Uh, when I move the slider, let's just move this back around again so you can see. Um, I've moved it and then I've stopped. And you can see it's not nowhere near as bad um, on the residual so I'm just going to just move it about 5% I'm going to do the same and you see it almost stops straight away so moving stop moving it stops as well so this is just an adjustment that if you're getting this residual movement as you're controlling the iris I'm just going to do it on the here I am doing it on the CCU controller um, you can see I stop turning it stops and that's, that's the ideal position, so that's about 5% back off, fully clockwise or least sensitive. Uh, and again, I'm just going to do it on the, um, on the cameras, uh, on the ATEM control here. And you can see as I'm doing it here, it's, it's um, uh, stopping almost straight away, which is kind of like what I want. Maybe I've just got a little bit too unsensitive, but just that's your preferred setting. Just remember when you finish doing your adjustment to put the little, put the little waterproofing um, thing back on so that uh, we don't get water in the hole. And that's just a little, a little bit of a tip for you um, people. Thank you.